Alcohol consumption can significantly affect the brain, ranging from short-term impairments to long-term damage. While alcohol consumption is widespread, very few actually know how it affects the brain. Today on MindScope, we're going to explore the effects of alcohol on the brain. 1. Impaired Judgment and Decision-Making Abilities When you consume alcohol, it enters your bloodstream and makes a beeline to your brain where it messes with neurons and their communication pathways. One of the areas of the brain that alcohol affects is the prefrontal cortex, which is involved in higher cognitive processes including planning, decision-making, and impulse control. Why does that matter? Well, the prefrontal cortex is your personal decision-making center. It's responsible for everything from planning and impulse control to judgment and decision-making. But when alcohol slows it down, it's like throwing a wrench in the gears. Suddenly, you find yourself making impulsive choices and taking risks that you would never consider doing when you're sober. Think about it. Have you noticed that there seems to never be a shortage of DUI charges every year? Or maybe you personally said some things that you normally wouldn't say. That's alcohol at work, reducing your inhibitions and making you feel like you're invincible. It's like your brain is saying, hey, why not do something crazy and spontaneous? 2. Memory loss or trouble forming new memories Have you ever woken up after a night of heavy drinking with no recollection of what happened the night before? It's a common experience known as blackout drinking. Essentially, when you drink too much, your brain's ability to form and recall memories goes out the window. Why does this happen? Well, it all comes down to the hippocampus, a part of the brain responsible for creating new memories. When you consume alcohol, it disrupts the communication pathways between neurons in the hippocampus, making it harder for your brain to form and retrieve new memories. So, even if you were having a great time the night before, your brain might not remember any of it the next day. But that's not all. Like we said before, alcohol also impacts your prefrontal cortex, which is like your brain's multitasking center. It helps you focus, plan, and make decisions, but when alcohol interferes with this area of the brain, it can leave you feeling unfocused, disorganized, and unable to complete even simple tasks. And of course, when your prefrontal cortex isn't working properly, it's even harder to form new memories. Also, when you drink alcohol, it can cause dehydration, which only exacerbates cognitive impairment and memory loss. In fact, studies have shown that dehydration is a significant factor in causing cognitive issues and memory problems in binge drinking college students. 3. Slowed Reaction Times and Reflexes Did you know that a sip of alcohol can slow down the lightning-fast neural pathways in your brain? Yes, it can act as a central nervous system depressant and put your reaction time in slow motion mode. So that simple task of walking or driving can become an extreme sport when alcohol is in the picture. This can cause a delay in your reaction time, making it difficult to respond quickly to a stimulus. Imagine driving a car and suddenly needing to step on the brake, but your delayed reaction time causes you to hit another vehicle. Unfortunately, it's not just your reaction time that's affected. Alcohol is also a muscle relaxant, impairing your motor skills and coordination. Tasks that once seemed simple, like writing or manipulating small objects, can become challenging, and walking or standing upright can feel like a balancing act as alcohol can affect your vestibular system, which is responsible for balance and coordination. 4. Difficulty with Balance and Coordination Alcohol consumption can affect your balance and coordination, aka ataxia. Ataxia is the loss of voluntary coordination of muscles during movement. One of the reasons for this effect is that alcohol has a considerable impact on the cerebellum, which is the part of the brain responsible for controlling motor coordination, balance, and muscle tone. When you drink alcohol, the cerebellum's ability to control these functions becomes impaired, leading to a deterioration of balance and coordination. This impairment in balance and coordination can lead to falls, which can be dangerous, especially for older people. When a person loses their footing and falls while under the influence of alcohol, it can result in serious injuries, such as fractures or head injuries. Also, alcohol can cause nystagmus, which is an involuntary eye movement that disrupts visual perception. This condition can make it challenging to maintain balance as it affects the brain's ability to interpret visual signals correctly. 5. Increased Risk of Depression and Anxiety Many people use alcohol as a way to cope with their problems. When you drink alcohol, it acts as a depressant on the brain, leading to a calming and relaxing effect, but not in a good way. While this feeling may make you feel good or at least oblivious of your worries in the short term, it can become problematic over time. This is because the brain's response to alcohol can become altered, leading to long-term changes in chemical and neural pathways. As a result, the brain may start to become more reliant on alcohol to produce the same calming effect, leading to an increased risk of developing depression or anxiety disorders. 
Alcohol can also deplete your brain's levels of serotonin, a chemical that helps regulate mood and emotions. Low levels of serotonin are associated with an increased risk of developing depression and anxiety disorders. Additionally, alcohol consumption can disrupt sleep patterns, and it can interfere with the normal sleep cycle, and a lack of sufficient sleep can exacerbate symptoms of depression and anxiety. 6. Reduced inhibitions and aggressive behavior Alcohol affects the functioning of your brain in various ways. One of the primary ways it does this is by affecting your neurotransmitters, which are the chemical messengers that send signals to different parts of our brain. Specifically, alcohol increases the levels of a specific neurotransmitter called GABA in your brain. GABA is known for its calming effects. This is why you often feel more relaxed and less anxious when you have some alcohol. However, this increase in GABA also depresses activity in areas of the brain that regulate our behavior. The prefrontal cortex is responsible for your execution functions like decision-making, self-control, and regulating emotions. When alcohol reduces brain activity in this area, it reduces your ability to make good decisions and behave in a way that aligns with your normal, sober self. It's like the filters in your brain that usually help you think before you act have been turned off. This can manifest in reduced inhibitions and impulsive behavior like getting into fights, making poor decisions, or behaving in a reckless manner. When you consume alcohol, you may feel more confident or outgoing, making you more likely to take risks or engage in unusual behavior. 7. Difficulty Processing and Controlling Emotions You may notice that after a few drinks, you start to feel more emotional than usual. Maybe you become weepy and sentimental, or angry and aggressive. This is because alcohol affects the activity of your neurotransmitter. Specifically, alcohol increases the activity of the neurotransmitter called dopamine, which is associated with pleasure and reward. This is why you feel a rush of euphoria after a few sips of your favorite drink or cocktail. Alcohol can lead to a decrease in your ability to regulate your emotions. This happens because it affects the functioning parts of your brain that are responsible for inhibiting your emotional responses to certain situations, i.e. the prefrontal cortex and the amygdala. For example, it becomes harder to mute the urge to lash out when angry while drunk. 8. Impaired cognitive abilities, including learning and problem solving. Consuming alcohol can affect the functioning of your brain cells or neurons. Alcohol slows down the communication process between neurons and disrupts the way information is processed in the brain. This can lead to impaired cognitive abilities, including difficulties in learning and retaining new information. It also impairs the ability to focus, making decisions, and solve problems, which can have a significant impact on your everyday life. For instance, if you try to learn new things or work on a problem, alcohol will make it much more challenging to concentrate and cause our cognitive tasks to become more difficult than usual. In addition to these short-term effects, heavy or prolonged alcohol consumption can lead to structural and functional changes in the brain, resulting in long-term cognitive deficits. This is because alcohol can damage the white matter in the brain, which contains the nerve fibers that transmit information. 9. Increased Risk of Blackouts Consuming alcohol affects the functioning of your brain in various ways, including interfering with the neurotransmitter that helps us form memories called glutamate. Alcohol reduces the activity of glutamate in the hippocampus, which is the brain region responsible for creating and retaining memory. In the case of heavy drinking, the hippocampus can be significantly affected, leading to an impaired ability to encode new information. This means that while your brain is still capable of processing information during a binge drinking episode, you may find it challenging to recall what you experienced afterward, hence the gaps in your memory or blackouts. Alcohol-induced blackouts are not a sign of how good of a time you had, but rather how much of the alcohol has affected your ability to create and retain memories. Losing time or having missing memories are common side effects of consuming lots of alcohol. 10. Potential Brain Damage with Long-Term Excessive Consumption Heavy, prolonged alcohol use can cause physical changes to the brain structure and functioning. Alcohol misuse can shrink the brain's tissue, particularly in regions responsible for memory and learning. This occurs because alcohol causes inflammation and stress in the brain, which can lead to nerve damage and, ultimately, brain cell death. One of the most common forms of alcohol-related brain damage is known as wernick korsakoff syndrome, a neurological disorder caused by deficiency in vitamin B1, or thiamine. Alcohol misuse can damage the cells responsible for absorbing and processing thiamine, leading to its deficiency, which further contributes to the damage in the thalamus, cerebellum, and hippocampus, which are key regions for memory, balance, and coordination. Also, continuous heavy consumption of alcohol will eventually erode your ability to control impulses and make educated decisions. This makes it difficult for people who misuse alcohol to break the cycle of damaging behavior, and they may continue to put themselves and others 
at risk. What about 10 signs of unhealed trauma? Watch this video to learn about that.